Hello friends, today I, Mranalini Rao from Vikhe Patil Memorial School, Pune will be sharing my experience with you of teaching the topic Multiplication of Integers to Students of Standard 7. Predicting the sign of the product while multiplying two integers, especially negative integers, can be really very confusing if it is not introduced properly. My main objective of these activities was to make students understand why the product of two integers has a particular sign. Let's begin. At this stage, students know multiplication of whole numbers, integers, addition and subtraction of integers. Now, we have to deal with multiplication of integers. Before we begin with the main activity, let's make students familiar with the working of this activity. And for this, let them explore multiplication of whole numbers. All we need for these activities is two dice, cutouts of blank paper, softboard, two types of seeds or pins of two different colors and general stationery. To create an interactive environment, you may arrange students in groups of two, three or four. First, roll both dice and note both the scores as M and N. They have to multiply these two numbers using the activity material. Here, M will be equal to the number of paper cutouts to be taken and N will be equal to pins or seeds to be taken on each of these cutouts. Here, one pin will be equal to one whole number. The total number of pins is m times n, which is equal to the product or the answer. Repeat this a couple of times. Now that we have understood the working of this activity, let us see how to represent all integers. Now comes the first part of the main activity. Let us use one red pin or bindi to represent the integer positive 1. Let us use one blue pin or bindi to represent the integer minus 1. Then I ask the students what will be represented by a pair of blue and red. Some of them correctly said that it is a zero or a zero set. I also ask them how would they represent integers like plus 4, negative 5, etc. Then I ask them what would be represented by a combination of 6 red pins and 1 blue pin. They could predict the answer correctly as 5 since it is a combination of a 0 set and 5 positive integers. Give them a worksheet to represent few more integers in different ways and ask them for the explanation of their representation. Once it's understood how to represent integers, let's go ahead with multiplication of integers. When we multiply two integers, we get four cases. Positive into positive, positive into negative, negative into positive and negative into negative. Let's explore these four cases through activities. Roll the dice. We have got 2 and 3. We multiply 2 and 3 in each of the four cases. In the first case, let us take both of them to be positive, that is positive 2 multiplied by positive 3. We take a blank sheet and call it as the integer bank. Blank means the value is 0. Take two cutouts and attach three red pins on each of them. Count the pins to get your answer. Of course, it is 6. So, the total value of your integer bank is 6. Ask students to note down the sign of the multiplicand, multiplier and product or answer. That is, positive into positive gives a positive. That was really very easy for the students. Now, let us proceed to case 2, that is positive into negative. Here, 2 will be positive and 3 will be negative. Again, ask them to take a blank integer bank. 
and two cutouts on it. Attach three blue pins on each of them. Count total pins here. Our total here is minus six. That is, the value of the integer bank here is minus six. Ask students to again note down the sign of the multiplicand, multiplier, and the product or answer. That is, a positive into a negative gives us a negative. This too was very easy for the students. Now, in the next two cases where we will be removing pins and cutouts from the integer bank, could be a bit tricky. Let's see how to do it. Now, I ask the students what would be the value of a blank integer bank and an integer bank with several zero sets. Remind students that when our first integer was positive, we were adding pins. Now, in the next two cases, when our first integer will be negative, we will be removing pins. Let's see case 3, that is a negative integer into a positive integer. That means 2 will be negative and 3 will be positive. We will use the integer bank with several zero pairs here. Since 2 is negative, we will be removing 3 red pins each from 2 cutouts from the integer bank. To do so, we will have to break the zero sets. Now, when we count the balance, we will have few zero sets and 6 blue pins left in the integer bank. That means the value is minus 6. Ask students to note down the signs of the multiplier, multiplicand and the product or answer formed. They find it exciting to know that a negative into a positive gives a negative wherein they are removing pins and breaking the zero sets. In case 4, we will be multiplying two negative integers. Both 2 and 3 are negative here. We will use the integer bank with several zero pairs here. Since 2 is negative, we will be removing 3 blue pins each from 2 cutouts from the integer bank. To do so, we will have to break the zero sets. Now, when we count the balance, we will have few zero sets and 6 red pins left on the integer bank. The balance will be positive 6. Now, when the students noted down the signs of the multiplier, multiplicand and the product or answer, they were surprised and excited to know that a negative into a negative gives a positive. Multiplication involving negative integers can be really very confusing if it is not learnt well. Students in higher classes often make mistakes which can be avoided if the foundations are made clear at this stage. This is one of the best activities which can be used to introduce rules of integer multiplication. It is very important to ensure that students keep practicing so that they internalize these rules and they can apply them later. You can also give your students worksheets, puzzles and shading activities to make the practice more interesting. Why don't you try this activity in your class? I am sure it will help you and your students. Do share with us your experiences and valuable suggestions. The link to the detailed lesson plan is given below. Thanks for watching.